Okay, so the countdown to Halloween continues, and this one here, this review here, is very special to me because this is my introduction to the horror genre. Yeah, so um, I was about four years old, and um, I was watching a tape of episodes of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and then eventually the episodes stopped, and then they started to show some stuff that was taped over, that, that was recorded over the tape, and, um, and then... I think it got to some HBO stuff that was on HBO, and then eventually Nightmare on Elm Street came on, and I watched the whole thing through. I mean, like, my mom must have been, like, she was asleep, and I was watching the, the tape all the way through. I was still awake, and I gotta say, it didn't scare me to the point where I had nightmares the next day, or I couldn't look at the, you know, look at the TV screen anymore. I was intrigued, even though I was very creeped out. I was very creeped out, and, um... You know, from when Freddy made his glove, and when the glove came out of the bathtub, and Tina's death, and Gwen's death, I mean, all of it, the whole movie creeped me out. I mean, like, even when, you know, like, when Nancy started to have nightmares, and she ran in the hallway, and then you see the, you know, the, that, you know, you see that funny-looking chick, you know, like, and then next thing you know, it's Freddy, and then, and then he's like, Nancy, no running in the hallway. <laughs> I mean, it just sent chills down my spine. You know, and, <laughs> uh, and, um, also, um, I gotta say, uh, the, the whole, you know, plot of, um, you know, the whole idea of where do you fall asleep and then the killer is waiting for you in your dreams. I mean, that's a little, that's a game changer. That's where the slasher genre start to take a, you know, another step, you know, like a, a different, you know, step in another direction. Like, this time the killer is, doesn't talk, you know, like, you know, the killer talks, he doesn't wear a mask, and he has a very sadistic sense of humor, and that's what, and, you know, this is, this is what made Freddy Krueger, you know, the creepiest, you know, killer, you know, the creepiest, um, character in the slasher genre. You know, that's until the sequels came along, but that's for another video. But, um, so, I mean, yeah, uh, and... Like when you eventually find out that you know the parents of the kids know who he is when they describe who, who describe that he wears a sweater and wears a dirty hat and and you know has a razor fingers. I mean, they're you know the the parents look freaked out like, and then you're like, why 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 are they freaking out? I'm like, well, like do you know who he is and whatnot? And then eventually Nancy's mother tells her you know that you know, know who he is and that they. They, along with other parents, hunt, hunted him down and killed him for, for his, you know, for killing other kids. You know, like he's he was a child murderer, and this, you know, like this, you know, like that's justified. But what makes them any better than Mrs. Voorhees? You know, like, you know, like when you think about it, with Mrs. Voorhees in Friday the Thirteenth, like where she kills the counselors for letting his you know, letting this kid, letting her child drown in the lake, and, you know, no, nothing else happened after that until, you know, years later when they had the, um, op when they, when people decided to open the Crystal Lake back up, um, when they, they decided to reopen Camp Crystal Lake, and that's when she started killing them again. I mean, like, like, you know, she even said that, like, when she, you know, when you find out that she is the killer, that, you know, I couldn't let them open this place up after what happened years ago. I mean, can't I? You know, like she, like she didn't, like she wasn't gonna allow this to happen to any other kids. You know, like you know, like you know, this place doesn't need to be opened up. I mean, like a child supposedly died in her mind, and you know, it's like her reason was just as almost as justifiable as the parents in Nightmare on Elm Street for killing Freddy Krueger. You know, but you know, I, you know, I, that's just an example. But um. Oh my gosh. And then my theory on the ending is um, that Nancy was still asleep the whole time. Like, and by the way, I think Kevin from Home Alone had to have watched this movie. And that that's where he got his idea of setting up traps for the burglars, you know, like to keep them out of the house and everything like that and, and to protect them. I mean, like, he had to have watched this. I mean, Nancy said, you know, did this before Kevin did. <laughs> and um, so he eventually... You know, like, you start to see clues that maybe she is still asleep. Even before she told him that he's a piece of shit and he's and he's nothing and she's not afraid of him. Um, you know, like how, like how he went up the stairs 
he's like he's basically killing her mother and then you see her body her um her um you know her corpse being sucked into the bed and then nothing's there and then freddy comes out of the bed and like i mean like how is this all happening in the real world i mean how come like only this would happen in freddy's in like in freddy's domain like you would think that nancy's still there i mean like she did not wake up like, 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 you know, basically, Freddie may be fucking with her at this point up until he, up until she faces her fears and, um, basically takes that fear that, you know, that he fed off of, just took that away from him. And now he ha he, he can't really, he has no power over her anymore. But you see that, you know, she wakes, she, she thinks she wakes up, her mom's sober, her friends are back. Um, yeah, you're still asleep, sweetheart. That's my theory. She's still asleep. She's trapped in the nightmare. And um, and that's how the movie ended. So that's my theory on the ending. And th after all these years, this movie still holds up. Um, you know, I prefer, you know, like as much as I was entertained by how Freddy, what Freddy became as the sequels went along. This is what made, this is what gravitated, this is what I gravitated towards the most. When him being terrifying, sadistic, sixth sense of humor, you know, that is who Freddy Krueger was. I mean, that's what, that's what I believe made most of you gravitate towards him. I mean, not him, you know, being kid-friendly and, and his over-the-top over, over the top humor and where you're, where I, where I at least is, where I at least am having a very difficult time being afraid of him anymore. You know, I, you know, like where I'm just like, oh, there's Freddy. Okay. What he was he got up his sleeve? No jump scares, no nothing. I mean, like that's uh, I mean, you just took what made him what made him intriguing and genuine, and all the scare factor just went down the shitter. But anyway, this movie gets four and a half chair spins out of five. So one, two, three, four and a half epic chair spins. So yeah, um, so like you know, this was a great movie and. You know, just because fans loved it so much, it got butt raped into a, an over one of the two over the top franchises, you know, like in its time, you know, like that and Friday the 13th, you know, like they were competing with each other with the sequel, the sequel, the sequel, the sequel, the sequel. But, um, you know, there were guilty pleasures of mine, you know, even though their sequels were you no, know, not great, you know, like as it went on, but. They were still watchable to the point where it's like, oh, this is really terrible, but I can watch it and make fun of it the whole time, you know, like the later sequels. But um, we'll get into that, you know, as we get in, as we continue our countdown to Halloween. So I'm going to cut it here. If you guys enjoyed my review for this movie, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, oh man, Glenn Step though. That's like one of the most memorable scenes in the movie. And Tina getting her chest scratched. Ugh, man, it stays with you. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all.